Namaste. I measure progress of any community the degree in which the progress achieved by whom. These great lines are told by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Ji. Not only him, many feminists in India, right from Savitri Bhai Pule to recent Veena Majundar Ji, they emphasize on the role of women in India. If you ask me the question, is feminism a reality in rural India? Let me share my personal experiences. Before that, let me tell you one fact. More than 60% of women in India live in rural India. That's why the focus is in rural. So, let me start my experience. Last year, I happened to visit a village where my grandmother lives nearby my town. When I went there, when I interacted with few women there, I have understood that women from her childhood to till death, she faces men much discrimination and gender inequality. So when I interacted with a small girl, I asked her why she was not going to the school. She said that their parents believe that education will not benefit her. Why? Because they told her that you have to take care of your family and upbring your children in future. Even I interacted with a married woman. She told that she got married at very early age and this is because of lack of education and lack of awareness. Even after getting married, their rights are denied and their voice are kept down. They were not allowed to participate in political discourse or in discussions or even big festivals. And there was, there was one more problem that is domestic violence. This is because of alcoholism in the men in the rural. And when I asked the woman why she was unable to raise her voice, she told that her parents told her that not to raise her voice against her husband or against their in-laws. So I have astonished with this, women are facing this many problems. But there is also a brighter side to the story. I have visited one more model village where they are using a concept called community radio. In community radio, local people speak their problems, discuss their issues, they even interview successful women in self-help groups are financially good. This has changed the attitude of parents. They start sending their children to the school. There was reduced domestic violence because they have prohibited alcohol in their village. It's an amazing concept. You can search in internet that is community radio. So one more powerful thing is like that is use of digital media. I can share you two success stories. One is by Pabi Ben from Gujarat. She has created an SSG where they sell beautiful bags, eco-friendly bags and there was a lot of scope for employment. And one more is by Anita Gupta from Bihar. She has trained more than 25,000 women in, the, in her village and she also got the best award from her state and supported by Tata Trust. So what I can say, if we can replicate the models which are available in other places, we can bring a lot of change. And right now, I see there is a lot more scope for feminism in rural India which in coming days. Thank you.